doing in this video is the inner workings of a Toshiba DVD recorder. This is a standalone recorder that records on DVD, standard DVD-R discs or DVD, I think it'll do plus R, dash R, and plus or dash RW. I don't know if this thing works or not. The uh, guy that gave it to me to check out doesn't even have the remote for it, so I'm basically going to tell him, yeah, the, if the work unit works, it works, but you're going to have to buy a remote if you want to use it because these things are completely useless without the remote. I happen to have the same unit, so I've got a remote so I can test this thing. What I'm doing is I'm going to archive a tape that I recorded years and years ago on a Digital 8 that was off of a, off a satellite broadcast, so I can't really show you much of it here, but... I've got this digital 8 tape that I recorded. It's not in high definition, it's in standard definition, but I only have it on digital 8. So let's open up the disc tray and we'll watch this thing. I've taken the shield cover off the over the laser so you can actually see this thing. Now, this being a burner, you don't want to look anywhere near this laser because this thing will have enough laser energy to cause eye damage if you were to look down at it. But uh, I think we'll be pretty safe because it's going to be shining through the disc itself. We'll just turn out some lights here so that uh, we can actually see this thing. You'll probably see the red spot when this thing fires up here and I will certainly move the camera or move it so that you can see it a little better. There it goes. As it's prepping the disc you can see the red spot of the laser actually shining through the disc. We're not in record mode just yet. I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm set up for the right recording time. It's set for the 4-hour mode. I don't think I want to record it in the 4-hour mode. I want a little better quality than that, so I'm going to just go and change it. This thing will do up to 10 hours on a disc. Does this one have SP? There we go. There's my SP speed. What our XP speed. That's 1 hour. That'll give me the best possible quality I can get. I'm just going to start my, my playback here and make sure that uh, I have picture and sound. Yes, I do. I'll just turn that sound down here a bit. This is a, actually quite a cool recording um, that we're going to do on this thing here. I'm just going to rewind this tape and re -cue it. So this is the digital 8 player I'm using. It's just a little Sony GV uh, D800. I think I showed you the service on this in the previous video where we had a power switch problem on this and on my other, my other video walk when they both had the same problem. Uh, that's now long resolved. A lot of the buttons weren't working properly on here. Again, it was a connector that wasn't uh, seated properly, but the power switch got dirty. So we cleaned that up. Now this thing's working like a million bucks. And we're just going to wind this tape to the end just to check our running time and then we'll start our recording up. Okay, we've timed everything out. We're ready to start it. We're going to start our recording up and hit the record button as soon as we have a picture. There we go. We're now recording. And what you'll see, it's a laser here. When it writes to disk, it will get brighter. There it goes, okay, now it's starting to write. So all that recording <clears throat> that was done in that first 30 seconds or so after I hit the record button, it wasn't actually written to disk, it was stored in the memory on the board here. And once the buffer filled up, then it starts dumping the, the data to disk, and you'll see the light is the laser is it's pulsing. Now it goes out, so every time it flashes bright there, that's when it's actually recording. Now remember, we're actually looking at the laser as it's gone through the disk. So we hold the camera right over top, it'll even be brighter. There you go, there's the laser writing to the disc. Again, we're looking at the laser after it's already after it's already burned through the disc. This is this is laser radiation that's actually diffusing through the disc. So this is actually pretty safe to look at this. You wouldn't want to look down at that with the uh, naked eye because that laser is putting out enough energy to um, cause some serious eye damage. Anyway, we're going to allow the uh, recording to continue here and then finalize the disc and I'll show you what it does when it finalizes. As you can see as the uh, laser continues, it's now moving towards the outer edge of the disc 
as uh, DVDs are written from the inner to the outer edge. So once this recording finishes, we'll finalize and then you'll see the uh, how it uh, writes the disc to finalize. I just figured I'd turn out the lights so you can see this thing lazing in the dark. It's actually quite bright. You can see the whole bottom of the disc lights up from the, uh, the laser power here as it writes to the disc. So the uh, production is over here that we're recording so we're going to stop it now. So I press the stop button. Just seeing if there's anything else comes up. The credits finish here. Okay, I press the stop button, and now is what's going to happen is it's going to write to disk. And there it goes. So now it's waiting for me to start another recording. I'm going to finalize my disc. So I'm going to go into the setup menu, DVD menu, and finalize. And I'm going to select finalize. So now it's going to write out the table of contents and it will finalize the disc. So it's going to go to the end of the track, which it's doing now, and it's going to write some information to the disc that will tell any other recorders that it is finished. It can't be added to. Now it'll write the table of contents, which is what it's doing now. That's why the light is the laser is on much brighter. It's actually burning to the disc now. It says it's 27% complete, 28%. Now 35%. So this is burning now. This portion is burning. It's called the lead out section of the disc. It doesn't just write the code once. It writes it over a significant portion of the disc. Why they do this, I guess only the... Uh, People that design the, the, the DVD format know the real reason why they write so much information to the disc. But as you can see, it's a substantial amount that they're writing. There we go. Now it's going to go back, write some more to the table of contents. We're at 59% complete, so there's still stuff that needs to be written. This is the reason why if you, say, make a one-minute recording on a disc and then finalize it, it takes 10 minutes to finalize because it's, it's writing 10 minutes of information just to tell any other uh, machines that you can't write to it. Okay, there it is. It's done. And uh, we can play it. I go into play mode. You'll notice that the laser is no longer as bright as it was. It is now in the playback mode. This unit works, so I'm just going to throw it back together and put it away. And there's the the actual deck itself. I open it up and close it. This is the actual laser assembly here. And there's the unit back with the shield cover in place. That's designed to keep your eyes away from the laser.
In the past, these recorders had interlock switches on them that would not allow the laser to turn on if you had the thing apart, but you can see how cheap things have gotten when they want to sell these things for the price they do. They certainly eliminate a lot of the interlocks and protective circuitry that the older ones, which cost a lot more, had in place. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstrating how a standalone DVD recorder writes to disc. Catch you later.